Hello chums, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever Peninsula. Last time round we built this, it was worth it, because it was. Uh, it's going to lead to a, a, um, a period of considerable prosperity. Probably. Um, anyway, we've got the uh, the connectivity here, we're running down towards City 17. The only thing we haven't done is uh, is actually completed that connection because it's going to be incredibly expensive. But uh, the future relies on us completing this expensive route. Uh, we've even got, I mean, we've got the bridge done. Uh, for some reason, I didn't bother connecting that to this. That would appear to be quite easy. Well, what was I thinking? Was I thinking? This and other questions will be resolved shortly after the Bombastic Intro. Right, so business as usual, I've rolled forward by six months, give or take, and uh, I've got six million in the bank waiting to be wasted, uh, along with 800 grand currently in the slush fund. So uh, we, won't, uh, we won't muck about too much. Hopefully we can get this done at some point in the next hundred years. But uh, if this pays off, uh, it will furnish us with the ability to not only connect up a, a rather healthy passenger line let's just let's just crow flies it and uh, and see what it offers us as far as uh, as far as expense is concerned well slow 76 is not exactly ideal but the bridge is the bridge is the bridge now we could and will and uh, are about to uh bulldoze some of this yeah i know it's a main connection but you're just gonna have to live with it uh so that we can make a slightly more genteel curve here and maintain a bit more uh, a bit more velocity uh, do you need to be going uphill I'd say you probably don't let's uh, let's stay on the straight and the uh, and the narrow here and uh, and give that a go and then this should make it slightly quicker on the old connection lid although it doesn't look like it is making it any quicker on the old connection no that's that's woeful. Uh, arguably, what you've done here is made it worse than it was already, where it only slowed to 74. Um, now, we've already got some gouges cut here, so maybe by trimming a little further, we can do that. And Oh my, how the smoothing gun is calling to me. Uh, but we'll, we'll just have to deal with that in time. Now, let's... what? How? Why? And then... It looks like this is, if we head slightly gently uphill here, it should do the job, because I think this is more or less on the same elevation that we're on now. No, I'm not going to turn on the flipping grid lines, I can't be bothered, um, and uh, it's only going to teach me a little bit anyway. A hundred, a hundred will be okay. We're not going to run that much that's going to go fast. Look at that, that's, that's horrendous. Uh, but if you look at the landscape here, uh, there's several of you, uh, in fact, numerous, numerous personages have asked uh, why they can't have the original map uh, before, uh, before the game kicked off. And the answer is really quite simple, is because this is the flat bit. No, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Before I started this series, I, uh, I spent the best part of two hours with the smoothing brush, uh, just gently well I say gently, liberally smoothing the entire thing as best I could uh, from orbit because uh, the whole map undulates like this except in the original it does so in a very jagged fashion that looks like this now that's down to me putting the map together in the first place and if I had my wits about me or you know if I wasn't so uh, so quick to just kind of go yep that'll do, take it uh, then uh, I could have smoothed that out. Anyway, I've done that bit now. We can move on. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so the original map is not fit for purpose and the game will not auto-generate cities on it because it is horrendous. Right, here we go. Here's the... Uh, dearie me, this is going to cost us some money. Well, let's pause. As much as, you know, leaving it running is going to bring in more money. One and a half million to get rid of all of that. That, that would seem to be kill overkill there. We can just get rid of these two. Right, that leaves us a bit of room. And then, yep, your pff, your odds of survival are pretty flipping slim. I mean, could we get under? Well, it would be foolhardy not to at least give it a go. Let's, uh, 
go on all the way down and then uh, rock it all the way over here. Now that it's telling me that construction is not possible is a very clear indicator that it hasn't got enough space to get into an underground venue at this point. This lot's probably history as well. But that's the that's the angle. Now it's going to be quite a slow piece of track, this one. Uh, given that it's got a wiggle ahead of it. And, uh, and I've already spent a heck of a lot of money on that bridge, so I'm not going to build the bridge again. Just, just for argument's sake, oh my goodness. Okay, well, there's, yeah, mm, yeah, okay, right, well, let's uh, work the problem, and, uh, and that problem is going to start with, let's put a tiny little street in here. Right, just, just about that much will do the trick, and then I should just be able to remove that. Do I need to kill that house? I don't need to kill that house, but uh, if this doesn't work, I will kill the house. It's only 75 grand to kill the house. Yeah, yeah, kill it, kill it. What do you mean construction's not possible? Well, there's a bus on it. All right, advance, close, kill, kill. Mer mer no, why not? What's your problem? Kill that, then this. No, kill this, then this. No, that. I don't want to kill that one. That's that's more expensive. Although we will be killing things far more expensive than that, pretty quickly. I would if that. Uh, just, I don't see a way where. Ah, hold on. That might do it. Right. Max out of money. There we go. Now all of this will rebuild. Duh, probably. And uh, all I need to do is just uh, systematically take out that which is going to be directly in my path. Uh, 90's pretty good. I mean, 90's, 90's faster than that station really requires. Now then, as long as these three, four here, are not too expensive. 300, 300, 150, 150. Well, yeah. But there's... Oh, hello, cheeky. All right, uh, well... They were going one way or another anyhow, anyway, and I figured, you know, rather than just waste everybody's time and, and pontificate on whether, you know, the, such destruction was really warranted, let's just do it. Uh, right, and then if I take out all of this lot as well, we'll get the... Uh, yeah, you probably need to go. Let's just don't think about it too hard, and we now have our path. Well, actually, uh, that was that was less traumatic than I expected. Expensive, certainly. How much will we pay there? Uh, two and a half million. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. That's uh, that's a, a bargain. Jolly Green, because we're still on Jolly Green Island. I will I will endeavour not to overuse Jolly Green anywhere else. But obviously, I'm not going to make any promises because it is jolly and green. That will do nicely. Okay, we're in. Now then, I'm going to double... Tr <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it's just a bit of a wiggle going on there. Do you want to take another swing at this? Because revisiting it later is going to be just as expensive as it was this time. I am going to take another swing at it. Yeah, I know. It means I just threw some money away, but I was bulldozing everything anyway. So, you know, why, why even get upset about such things? Right, now, try it again, but this time... Let's see if we can't... Do I have to kill all of that? I suppose I do. Uh, this time, let's see if we can't make it just a little bit smoother. Right, uh, we've got 97. And then, straight line. Collision. What are we... Where's your problem here? It's in the bridge building segment. What if I told you to go embankment? I think embankment's probably going to make that even worse. And it's this one. Okay, so the second bridge is the issue. Oh, hold on. No, it's not. It's because I didn't take out all the track first time round. Oh well, in which case we'll probably be we'll probably be dandy. Just uh, just give it a go. There you go. As mentioned, probably dandy and indeed dandy. That looks a little better from that angle. From this angle, it looks serviceable. And, uh, and serviceable is, is usually all it takes for something to be given the green light and rubber stamp of approval from the uh, planning committee. Good. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to try and double track this, but I think we're going to get vetoed as we go this way. No, we're not. Well, that's great. In fact, I might even triple track it, given that we're running freight down here as well. 
Well, if you do it now, then you've done it. And whether you use it or not, you, you aren't going to have to uh, force migrate people later on to make that happen. Now, where am I going to... Obviously, we've got a single track station, which is going to cause absolute bedlam um, and will be amazing to watch uh, because uh, the more complicated things are, the, uh, the, the more train spotting opportunities you get. But it means that I'm going to have to be somewhat cautious when it comes to, uh, to comes to the application of uh, of things of, of what of the well the quantity of the the number of trains so if i'm the 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 the, ha -ha, buh, 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 buh. Uh, the passenger yes rail service that now will run from alpha complex uh, through city 17 uh, to arakeen and then uh, out to the minas tirith hill valley um interior complex which if i work hard enough we might be able to get this lot to merge up uh, and then the destination of emerald city right this is a good chunky route that i could probably run 15 trains on i think is not an unreasonable number that's that approach is going to cause me more problems than it solves um because uh, you just you you're not going to be able to get 15 trains doing anything on there if you're also running freight as well when you've got this single bottleneck going on. Now, if you if the spacing ends up being good and the timing ends up being good, then you've got you've got some promise there. But uh, in all honesty, it's it's not going to pan out quite that well. Now, I just want to check which side this track goes on to yeah it goes on to the wrong platform at the moment what am i talking about well i'm talking about uh up in the number of tracks again and i was thinking we split out so in the same way as i've got this kind of waterfall three split going on there that sounds technical doesn't it um i was thinking of doing the same thing immediately after the station i don't know if that's going to be viable or not obviously this house needing to be forfeit that's not a deal breaker um but it's more about is it even technically viable or are we going to have to run the whole of that bridge as a, a single track i have a i have a sneaking suspicion that that whole no uh, you can do that but you end up with uh ugly bridge or do you it's all about whether where the interim the the middle railing goes I think for once I'm going to not accept if we have a bit of railing clipping things. No, let's uh, let's take the challenge and and, uh, and and do what we can with it. Now the other we could always go out here, and then the track as it is right now is actually viable. All right, yeah, let's do that. So then you've got one off there. And I'm not going to connect these all the way because. I want the money to uh, to spend on on more uh, more transport. 377k. Yeah, all right, you can spend that. Uh, I wasn't going to, but I did. And then from there out as well. Go on, there's not too much curvature. All right, there might be too much curvature. Try it from here instead. There you go. Now, if I can get it, if I can get it snapped there, then the bridge will snap perfectly. Alternatively, do the bridge bit first, like that, and then it snap perfectly, and then bring it back. Yeah, you good? We happy here? We happy. All right, okay. So that's that's going to work. I mean, there's, there's going to be a queue, because because that is that is not a short section of single track there. That is quite a meaty section. There are other ways we could have fixed this, of course. We could run down the, down the side there for like a pass-through track. And honestly, I might do that later. I might do it now. Do I, do I want to do it now? I don't. I don't. I want to turn my attention now to figuring out how best to get the, uh, the road from one side of the town to the other and then lay out some more road so that we can actually build some stuff in. Why don't you just turn that off? That's not bringing you any more happiness than you had already. Let's have a look. Firstly, let's look at radical bulldozing as an option. So what's that? It's 900,000-ish plus a corner. There's a bit more. 1.2 million to deal with that lot, which we probably wouldn't need to do. Also, 1.2, yeah, 600,000. Yeah, all of this is quite pricey. 
But my, my rationale here is uh, we stick in a road parallel to the track and then a second road that's parallel to that and get rid of this flipping wiggle. I don't have the cash for it, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would definitely do that because it will allow us to pack in a bit more population here. All right, up, over, or what have you done there? I'm sorry, no, no, we can't have that. That's, that is not good enough. Right, back it up some more. All right, let's use you as our, as our leader here. Right, and it's because I think I was trying to pull points off while, uh, while we were on a slope, which is, I mean, it works, but it's fatal. Uh, actually, to t t t two 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 about there is okay. Yeah. All right. What's that done? Well, it's not brilliant, but it is better than it was. Now, can you do this without losing all the speed in the known world? Given that you've got an eighty odd there as well, I'm 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 going to allow it. It's not perfect. No, really? No, it's not. I know. Calm yourselves. But uh, but it could have been better. But it has, uh, it has come off anyway. Now, the smart thing to do here would be to relay this again and put it on, on, on flat land. What on earth is going on here? Don't know. All right, talk to me about uh, 1.2. Uh, yeah, don't think about it too much, just do it. Yeah, I know it's it's a massive amount of expense, but we're going to uh, we're going to clear out some space here to try and reshape this uh, this corner. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but uh, I'm going to. You can get rid of that lot. Yeah, you're running out of money. Yeah, that's true. Okay, right. Look, we've got some we've got some working space here. Now then, I want to give it. Uh, put, I'm going to have to unpause, aren't I? There we go. Look, let's. Oh. Oh, I feel better. Oh, it's like a breath of flipping fresh air. Oh, that's ah, magnificent. Right. Okay, clown. Uh, now then. Is that actually flat at the moment? I think it's not. I don't think it is. I think it's going uphill ever so slightly. Yeah, it is. Uh, so... Why is that important? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, it's important because if I try and do one of these... We might get it across. Uh, keep this on the flat. Now, I don't think we're going to get six across there. No, you're really not. But uh, the only way to get a, a good, solid level crossing is to have the piece of track in question flat. Otherwise, you end up with something that looks not great. Uh, try this. Yeah, what are you, what even are you, what are you just, I, why? Okay, right, so there you go. A few noises later and we've determined that that ain't going to fly. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's come out with something a bit more, uh, a bit more entertaining here. And just like that. It's not good. Right, I've only spent seven and a bit grand on that, so let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's uh, awful. It's it's just that's just wretched. All right, well, what are you going to do about it? I, I don't know. I don't know what I can do about it. I mean, I don't want to use a level crossing in the first place. Get rid of that again. Um, you know, I'm I'm far more attuned with a with a nice bridge or a or a dinky bit of tunnel. Uh, well, why don't you try those options? Let's try those options. Right. And I, that's that's not going to cut it. Go from go from there, which is about as far that way as you can go. Why are you oh, okay? I understand. Uh, would you, there must be a snap point on this corner. Can I get rid of no? Ooh, that's a lot of destruction you get for very little money. But it doesn't really does it really? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Right, activate hyper tempo. I only need eight hundred grand for this gig. That's 900. I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to need a little bit more in order to build whatever it is that I decide to build that will rectify the problem. Uh, we're going to run up until May 29 and then spend whatever we've got at that point. The objective, of course, is not just to spend the money, you understand. Uh, the objective is to spend it wisely, frugally, on something that's going to make a heck of a difference. 
Right, okay, well look, 1.7 million, that'll cut it. And right, you lot, cheery bo. There we are. Now then, don't smooth. Just a little bit. Just just knock the edges off. There you just there. See? Nice. Okay, now if I can't make something work here, then well, I was about to issue myself threats of some description, but actually in all honesty, uh, then we'll just try something else. Uh, up. Try and go over. Go on, go on, get over, get over. Get no, no, get over. Too much slope, collision, terrain alignment collision. We've done the works. Uh, that's bingo. Um Go on, go on, go on. Uh, okay, what are the other options? Well, the other options are we use the pre-elevator. For those of you unfamiliar with it, that's page up and page down to uh, to pre-elevate your track. Keep it on the flat. Right, we now have a bridge. It's too tall. Well, that's good. We can just take it down a notch. Yeah, try that. Go kibosh like that. Hold shift. And level it out. No? Why not? Possibly because your pillars are a bit too close to the track. Go from a little bit further away. Do that. And then... No. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, that wouldn't have really fixed anything anyway. We'd, we'd, we'd have then been confronted with another challenge to try and get that to work. All right. Am I missing an easier option? Ooh, how much space have I left under there? Actually, an adequate amount. All right. Neutralize that. If I can get a... Ooh, this... It might work. How much are you going to cost to excommunicate? 150 large. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do by trying to, to do something like that. Okay. Because I don't need people to be able to have to build on it, on whatever crossing thing I make. Now, it's not ideal because it's going to lead to a, a scenario where... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We've got something here. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's just peril. Dispose of your old car the environmental way. What do you mean? Drive it into the docks. Oh, I've got three things broken now. What are you broke? Well, Intercity CT17 to Arrow. Why are you broken? Don't think that one should be broken, but we'll have a look at it in a moment. And those two are reporting problems. Well, I've deleted the stop and they can't complete their route. There's all manner of stuff going on there. Uh, right, okay. And just uh, how about I, I just want a, a nicer bridge. Well, I'll just give them a, a slightly modern road bridge. Now, the other thing that I was thinking is, well, if I'm going to connect up through here, is anybody cheapish enough to uh, to let me through? Get the initial altitude about right, and then go through. But actually, that's the closest one, so I think that's the one to go for. So we will peel off a road from wherever it will allow me to snap here. No. Uh, from wherever it will allow me to snap here. There you go. Right. That's a snapping point. It has created that, but uh, that's just luxury. Right. Round the corner. Get yourself under. There you go. Now, you see, this is, this is why I build all of these dinky little bridges. Not just because it's a straight line, but also because later on... It will allow me to go, oh, uh, and uh, and potentially fix something. Right. That is, it is quite steep, but this solves the problem. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, the problem that we're trying to solve is uh, is connecting one side of the town to the other. Is This is not the perfect place to do it, but uh, it is a practical place from which to uh, undertake this. Right, you're at that height, you're at that height. That'll, that'll more or less work out. And then I can use the uh, the remaindered uh, track. Uh, track The remaindered space. Got a little bit of landslip happening there. Yeah, that'll be all right. Uh, we can use the remaindered space to try and grid up ever so slightly. Uh, the, the needles are out of here. There we go. That's good. The cliffside is begone. Right, okay, now then, let's upgrade this fella here to something a little moderner. There we are. Moderner, really? Well, moderner, you could you could get away with moderner. More modern. Equally, 
that sounds like a thing that people might say. Right, keep going straight. Let's get as much embankment built for that as possible. It's expensive, but I want people to be able to build alongside it. And then we need to get up to whatever we build up here. Now, I don't need... Do I need fat road here, or uh, or should we should we go with the skinny? You've got a whacking great hill to, to tackle there. Look, there was a road in there before. You shouldn't be complaining. There you go. See, that's all good. Do it in baby steps and people are a lot happier. Right, let's go all the way to there. Should put some kind of safety barrier at the end. Am I going to? I haven't got any of those in my, uh, in my toolkit, so no, I'm not. Uh, stick that one in there. And then... If we did a bit of work on that, we could probably get some more in there. But we do actually have this road to come down to. What about here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's it's heinous, but it's uh, it's viable. Uh, and then, if the if the AI sees its way clear to building on there, that that uh, that will create some uh, some housing with some really quite remarkable views. And then you've got, I mean, well, there you go. Look, you've got some more uh, Bayside car disposal going on down there, which is absolutely magical. Uh, now, can we slink in? Give it, we're on town redevelopment. I, I, I figure you'd spotted that. Um, if I can slink in a, a, a skinny bit of road behind this housing section here and then just connect up to that, we might get some more houses. You may say, and well, quite rightly, why are you doing this? Well, firstly, this is the kind of rubbish I always do, so it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Yeah, I know I didn't have much money left, and I got rid of that anyway, but it was on a skinny bit of road, and therefore it's justified. Uh, but secondly, uh, I want to maximise the number of uh, of local passages that are available to, uh, to ride the iron horse. Uh, yeah. You're going to need to... You're going to need some money to pay to get rid of that bit. And that's an expensive one. Pull this as close to the track edge as you can get. Unpause the game. Wait for the cash to run. See, look, there's the cash. Cash is in. We'll go all the way to the 29th because I expect I'll spend more. And uh, and then uh, and then we'll crack up. I'll tell you what, we'll go all the way to the 30th. Why not? There are 30 days in May. Uh, and then there's a 31st day as well. There we are. Right, best part of a million. Uh, no, not M, not this time. That. I don't need to destroy that bit. I just need to reshape the road. Give me a tiddler here. Thank you. Uh, just bang a quick tiddler in about there. Yeah, and then get rid of that. Get rid of that again. And then uh, wallop. Wrong road. That road. No, this road. Yes. There we go. Do you want to upgrade that while you're at it? Don't really care. Um... That's at least not my not really my concern. Okay, good. That's a bit worse, um, and at the same time, it's it could work out. Oh, here's a here's an idea. Maybe not for today, but something like that. What's it colliding with? Is it just because the road is too close to the edge of the, the the bank thing? But we could do something like that, right? That, and to be honest, that's cheap. If I can sort out the collision problem, we could do that right now. I think what what it'll take is getting rid of these two end buildings. That's going to make for quite a nice route. Also quite convenient, because what I want to try and do is any bus stops that I've got going on, I want them next to the station. That's That's not expensive. Try and solve this problem by making it more expensive. All right, well, those two were, you know, cheap as chips, so uh, 276 grand gets rid of all of that. Fine. This is, uh, you know, I am spending it like water, but what we're going to end up with should justify that expense, because if I can... Uh, this route's not going to be easy. Uh, did you, ooh, uh, da, da, da. You're not going to do it in one go. Okay, well, if I'm not going to do it in one go, let's do it in more than one go. Also, how about keeping that flat? Yes. All right, building a, building a bridge. 
oh, the, that price just escalated. They went, oh, he's going for a better bridge. Charge him. 144, do me a favour. Uh, let's bring that in there. And then just connect it up. Another 92,000. No, another 70, no, 60, 50. Any advance on 50, 52.1. That'll do. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Well, it is. Um, so, uh, ooh, wouldn't you, though? Now then, one last thing to do, and I'll stop mucking about with roads. Almost promise that that will happen. Now, what are you trying to do here? You want you want your magic wand? Yep. Good. And while we're at it, let's bring these guys up to the 20th century as well. There you are. That is adequate. Okay, so we've managed to get a couple of connections going on. You've got both sides... Might as well. Uh, you got both sides hooked up here. For some reason, it wasn't charging me for that. So you know, gift horse, mouth, all of that, and uh, and therefore we've done we've done all right here. I think I might just I know, but I mean, look. You, you, otherwise, you're talking about going all the way around there, which doesn't make any sense. Let's just do that. All right. Okay. So I need to put the bus stop back in. Because it was here, and now it's sad. Uh, but I can get the bus stop a little bit close to the station. Which it might still... Oh, we might be able to get a proper a proper bus turnaround in there, which will be better given the, the use that we've got going on. Uh, is we're probably a bit too close to the station. What do you mean, probably? In what, in what fantasy are you not, you know, epically close to the track? Yeah, all right. There's no need to be quite so critical. Um... We'll go with uh, with Johnny Default here and uh, just we'll fling that on there, even though it's not going to sit perfectly flush with the road. We'll stick that on there and hopefully that has picked up the identity of the previous one. The warning has disappeared. Unpause the game. Right. OK, cool. Uh, so now we get to see what the AI makes of that uh, as it uh, as it tries to lay stuff back in again. And also, I think I might have made it possible, although you won't be able to do anything with the station, uh, but I might be able to get a passing track. I said this earlier. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll get a passing track in there. So your passenger trains will queue in both directions, but, uh, but you should be able to bypass the freight. Interesting. Anyway, as interesting as that is, we're going to leave it there. Now, that might not feel like we've accomplished very much, but actually we've accomplished a significant piece of the puzzle and all we need to do now is uh, is extend it out i could in fact i am going to in fact how many vehicles we've we got on here two isn't it yeah big rod and uh, ernesto luis are currently riding the uh, riding the line yeah i'm going to extend it now uh, right, C17, add one onto the end of C17, and that's going to be out here to our new best friend, Alpha Complex, which is not going to have an awful lot of passengers waiting because it's it's in the middle of nowhere. And then from there, you head back and you go through C17, and then you just do everything else as you were beforehand. All right, I think that's probably slowed it down uh, significantly. There is there is a, a longer turnaround time there now, but we're, we'll address that in the next episode. So passengers first, because it will be cheaper, and then we will turn our steely eye to uh, to the problem that is freight and uh, and the delivery of oil along this route, which will make a lot of money. It might cannibalize some of my shipping money. But we will figure out how to make as much money in, as humanly possible. Anyway, there we go. No train. Look, come on now. Zoom in. There you go. And then you've got your you've got your high detail kind of. Ah, oh, yes, we've done things with life. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I shall join you very soon. Well, you will join me. We will join one another, but not in that way. Talk to you later. Cheerio. Now, I'm very much looking forward to the time where I've got enough cash in the bank there to uh, to be able to go and uh, just level big areas of town centre and, and relay the grids out. Uh, it's expensive and, and arguably it's it's needless as well. But the, the end result should be mm, that, uh, that, that we have roads with slightly less uh, mad curves going on in there. 
and, and, uh, and ridiculous stretches of lumpy hillside. Uh, it can't be, can't be helped. Well, it can be helped, but it costs money, and, and that's that, that would be nice to get to. But in order to do that, you're really looking at uh, a, a period where, the, where, where you're earning so much money that you can't afford to just throw 10, 15, 20 million away on, uh, on making town centres a little bit more interesting. So I think that's a long-term goal, and we'll probably get to that eventually. I <laughs> uh, don't know when, but when we do, we'll probably t tackle, I'm, I'm thinking maybe three or four different towns, and, uh, and improving the, uh, the inner layout of them.